No, get, I don't, I've done it again. What? I keep for pre forgetting to press the right buttons. That's... It's yeah. amazing what you do. Good evening, everybody. With Larry and Curly here. <laughs> Mo, apparently, is still in Darden. No, see him. Horden? Horden. Horden. Darden. See him. Blackall. Yes. Wherever it is, he's there. That's because he's... Apparently, his car's perfectly bad in bed with a shawl on and both wheels on one jack. Waiting for the mechanic to come and rub it sump with oil. Right. Something along those lines. Daz can't be with us tonight. He's, uh, he's stuck at home. Um, and he's in chat. If, if, it's, if you're watching live, Daz is in chat. If you're watching on video on demand, tough. <laughs> he won't be there. Um, yes, it's one of those. And, 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 this, and this is going to be the haze hour, isn't it? It is, It's yes. going to be a slightly different haze hour tonight. Because under normal circumstances, I, tr I try to get everything right. And I've had one of those weeks this week. Well, can, just before you go any further, can you advise the viewers to wear sunglasses? Because it's not something they would want to watch in 3D, is it? Do you know, there are times, Keith, there are times <laughs> when I wonder how we what? managed to stay friends for so long. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with the shirt. There is nothing wrong with the shirt. It's a perfectly respectable shirt with a picture of a dragon on it. I'm wearing it in tribute to the Welsh. Cut down caftan that you brought back from Lanzarote. Pinched off your wife. I see. Jeff Benyon, I used to like you, he's just said there's nothing right with it either. <laughs> I don't know. It's got a nice quality about it. Oh, you, never you, mind you the quality. Uh, Feel the width. Yeah, it's yes. Uh, yes. Yes, it's, yes. Uh, it's silk. Apparently, silk. It's made out of worm poo. Right. Silk worm poo. That's what it is. Shall we? Well, <laughs> there's an answer to I'm, that, but I won't go I'm there. I'm sure there is. I'm sure there is. But maybe he's yeah. not. All kids said he must be wearing it. I'm not wearing it for a bet. It's summer. <laughs> We've had three days of sunshine up here. I've got my legs out. I've got a nice shirt on. My hair's done. Look, it's, it's, it's whitened my hair out. Has it whitened? No, it won't have whitened your hair. No, no. no. It's browned it a little bit. Um, well, can I just have fried rice with mine? Oh. Shall we do a show? Uh, yeah, we're better. I think yeah. we're probably better. Tonight's show is brought to you by Surfacings. Surfacings.co.uk Sponsors of The Haze Hour. Yes, we're back. We're live. It's Thursday <laughs> night. If it would be the 6th of June, which is the day after the 5th of June and the day before the 7th of June, just for the avoidance of doubt. And uh, just to answer one of the questions that came in chat, no polyesters were killed in the making of this shirt. <laughs> no polyesters died to make this shirt. It's, it's made out of silkworm poop. Well, well, I just hope it doesn't detract from the serious nature of the show. I do, really. <laughs> <laughs> it's 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 yes it's gonna i'm gonna have to change this shirt at the first advert so i can see it coming you can see people reaching for their eye drops <laughs> oh their sunglasses i give up i'm being ganged up on left right and center 
We could give you a minute to change it even, if you feel that's appropriate. Even Lady <coughs> Wilmington Smythe Minge Pew Critchley on, and on the Skype and her <laughs> lovely daughter Virginia. The pair of them have been taking the mickey out. It's just not fair. It's Look, Pete Dermody said he's that Somebody a licensed It's a licensed, yeah, I never li thought of that. It's, it's a licensed nicotine using person containing shirt is what this is. I wouldn't like to pay for the license for one of those, I'll tell you. Ah, yes, thank you, Ratfinks. <laughs> Oi, vapors, leave the shirt alone. <coughs> do, 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 do. <sighs> Stop it, whip it up. Right, if, the, you people watching this on video on demand are not going to have the faintest clue what's going on in chat. No. They're not. Yeah. Suffice it to say that the Michael is being extracted from the shirt, and I don't mean the George Michael either. Shall we talk about e-cigs? I have, think so. Have yeah. you had a good e-cig week this week? Have you have you have you been successful with your e-cigs this week? Yes. You've had no no, uh, no issues. mishaps. No. no. No no mishaps. No. They've all been working correctly. Uh, well, the one I've been using this week has yes, as usual. And, and what you've been using? The evil. The Evo, yes. yes. So that's the, and and you finding the button any better now? Uh, no, I still miss it. Right. Because I've had, I'm going to look straight down my camera and say I've had a pig of a week. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I've got. Is I've that got, to do with the builders or no, no, your no, no, e cig no, experience no, this week? I'll tell you what it is. I've discovered something. You know, everybody. I mean, there was this thing. That apparently, I'm influential or something. I don't know what the hell it means. But there was this thing about influential vapors and so on and so forth, and apparently I'm up there and whatever. I don't know. Um, the way I oh, say it, if uh, if Scott Bonner's not on it, it's not a full list. Anyway, cutting a long story short, if you if you remember a couple of weeks back, we were talking about the AGI, which is both a Genesis and a Drip and Anti. Yes. And I was going to try and coil it on the shore, and then I decided I would just drip some juice on to see if it dripped through. Yes. Right. I've had some drip and that sent. All right. Right? Yes. And during the course of that show, I, I, I probably said I'm not very good at drip and I've never been able to get it right. Because mm -hmm. I don't, I'm not clever enough or I'm not practiced enough or whatever. So there was some came up and I thought, right, I'm, I'm, I'm going to put the first one together and, and give it a blast and give it a go. And... You know that this this pole, I'm going to be off the bottom of it after this. Shall I play? That I play, really I'll, surprises me. Oh, that. you've got no idea. I'm useless. Shall I play the video? Yes. I'll yes. play the video. Get ready for this. It's it's actually it's this one, and uh, it's it's the UD I go F. Right. Is what it is. This little bit on the top. It's an I go F, and it's you know it's 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 all right. It produces. Right. But it's taken me four days to make it work. Have a watch and you'll see. Oh, hello. You, uh, you catch me in a somewhat strange position. I'm putting an O-ring into an I go F. There's a reason for this. I don't know whether you've come across these before, but it's a queer sort of thing, is this? And if I can explain, and the idea is that you get to build a dripping optimizer that has an included tank. So this bottom section is actually a tank and if I unscrew the top section from it you can see that it is indeed exactly that it's a, it's a little one mil tank now I've just noticed that screwing that o-ring in will make no difference because just there you can see where the grub screw pokes through so that O-ring won't do anything to seal. And you might wonder, well, why the hell is he messing about with those? Well, the simple reason is I built this up earlier. Um, 
And the bottom line on it is I'd got it working. Not, I don't think the way it was meant to be working, but I'd got it working and left it overnight and came back to find a big puddle of juice, which is probably not a good thing. But let's kind of run through what it is and how it's supposed to work. You'll see what looks like a relatively standard dripping at setup. We've got a negative post, positive post, but where it kind of goes different is these two holes. Now, in the box, there are no instructions. There's spares, spare O-rings, spare centre post insulator and a spare grub screw, but no instructions. So it's difficult quite to know how it's all supposed to work. So I've had a bit play with it. And it looks as though you're meant to have a wick coming out of this hole here so that it can wick juice up. So I tried building it that way with standard wicking and well let's give it a go and we'll see what happens. So I shall wind myself a wick. It's not going to be difficult to do. We know the routine. A few wraps. I'm, I'm not going to worry too much about wasting anything here. Two, three, four, five turns should be enough, I think. Get the skizzers. And give myself a nice big chunk to play with. So get rid of that. And I might as well chop a big lump off here as well. Okay. So now we have pretty standard wick. And the first thing I want to do really is to get the wick through the hole. And this is far from easy. All right, we're in. Now at this point, the easiest thing to do, I think, is to unscrew the base from the little tanklet. And so we'll do that. And that means I can then pull this wick right through. Now, I have to admit, I wonder whether it might be better to just wind the um, the negative portion just around and on that way so that it just sits in fact that's what I'm going to do so that I'm sitting with my wick vertical as it were pointing straight up and making good decent contact I think let's just check it out it is fiddly has to be said right so it's kind of a a line affair if you like all right that's snug and then Also wind it onto the pause. So that it makes a connection as you would expect. Tighten that down. Alright, so that looks to be making reasonable connection. I'm not going to say it's brilliant, but it's definitely making connection. And then I think what I'm going to do is just tuck that around. If you can see in there and then screw its little butt piece on. So we now have 
the setup set up. Do some snippage because we don't want bits of wire flitting about everywhere. Is that connected or not? Yes, it has. No, it hasn't. So I just need to connect that properly. Otherwise, there's the chance of a short. We don't want that. So a snip arch. And we should now have a relatively nicely set up piece of kit with a vertical coil. Badoink. Now the question then is, do we need to bring that bit into there? And I think we probably can't, but I don't think it's gonna make a great deal of difference. What I am gonna do though, is bring it back down and then I'm going to stick some juice into the little tank and we'll see when it comes up the other side there we are takes about a mil put a little droplet down there and then we need, I think, to snip that off. That's it. Right, so having done that then, let's stick it onto a device of some description. Um, and this will do. We'll stick it onto, drops it. Stick it onto a Z-Max, Z-Max, Z-Max. And there it is. And press the button, see what happens. And I just want to see whether it's going to wick vertically. I should tell you that that's two ohms. I'll just show you that. Oops. Low load now for some reason. 1.3. It's dropped to, which is interesting. Moved slightly. Two point two ohms. But it's running and it's wicking. The trouble is, I have a hot spot here. Okay, so here's the, the mouthpiece for it. It's a one piece mouthpiece. And the idea, as I say, is that you should be able to feed the device from that one mil tank. Otherwise, you would maybe use it as, a, as a, an overflow, if you will, if you put too much in. So let's give it a go, see what happens. So here it is. On the, uh, the Z-Max. And so far, working very well. 2.1 ohms, it's uh, it's a beast for vapor. 
if you have it set up right. But what I don't know is whether it's going to carry on wicking. Also, what I don't know, now, you see that's gone dry. The wick itself at the top end has gone dry and I need to be able to show you that. Here it is. Now, you can probably make out that this section of the wick is as dry as a camel's armpit and it's just not bringing the juice up that little length of wick up to the coil. I don't quite know what I can do to sort that out. Even if I tip it, you would expect to see drops of juice and I suspect what's happened is that that wick has soaked up what juice I've put in. So I'll try putting some thinner stuff in and see if I can get it to wick up. And you'll be able to see it's pooling on there. And stick it back on the, the Z-Max. That's now showing 2.6 ohms. And you'll be able to see what's happening. The tip of this wick is drying out. You can see it getting whiter and whiter and you'll see that there's a glow coming now. A hot spot even. I don't know whether you can see that. I can see it from here. There is a hot spot happening. And even if I put that hole where the juice is right at the bottom. It's just glowing. You'll be able to see it now, look. And that, that, that's the coil on the wick that's getting the globe. But if I drip it, it's fine. It's confusing. I have to say. In it smells gorgeous as well. Okay. I'm uh, gonna rebuild it. Ow hot. Ha hot. Safer6.co.uk sponsors of the Haze Out.
Save the Six. Sponsors of the Haze Hour. Yes, now, there's been quite a lot of chat in chat about that I go F, uh, um, F. I go F, I go F, yes. All sorts of questions. Why didn't you put the, the wick through both holes? Tried that. If you remember, I said right at the top that that grub screw. Do you know my mouth's just not working? Grub it's screw. The grub screw. The grub screw doesn't seal off properly. So if you leave it stood upright overnight, you end up with a pool of juice at the bottom of the device that you've got it on. So I thought, right, it, obviously there's no there's no point in trying to to work it out that way. You you posed something while we were actually going through that, Keith, and I think what you said was worthwhile reiterating about how it should arrive. Well, I mean, could I preface that by saying, as everybody knows, I'm completely technically ignorant. But I mean, I, I would have assumed if I'd ordered one of those, that it would have come prepared, ready for use. And watching you there, the fact that it, it, uh, you say it's come without instructions, I find incredible. I would have expected to get that, drip juice into it and use it, full stop. I can, I can well understand that. I can well understand that. And I've got to be honest, um, after I cut that, somebody told me that Todd had done a video on the same thing. So I, I went and <coughs> had a look at what Todd had been doing. And apparently Todd's had exactly the same problems I had. As in the thing arrives, unset up, that's as it yeah. comes from the factory yeah. with a bit of wick and, and, and all of the spares and everything else. And it, I mean, it's a nice, it's a beautiful looking piece of kit. And you look at it and you think, right, that's a tank. <coughs> you fill it through the grub screw. But that means for somebody like me that gets through eight mils a day, I've got to carry the, the, the hex key with me. So I can undo the grub screw, assuming that you've got to put the wick down the two holes. And then undo the grub screw, put it in, screw the grub screw back in again, and then make sure that it doesn't drop any juice out anywhere. So what would have happened if I'd ordered it? You'd have been coming round to me saying, how the hell do I use exactly. this? Exactly. That's, what, exactly. that's exactly what would have happened. Um, and, it, 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 and it's a shame. It is a shame. However, there's a second part of that little bit of video. Right. Would you like to see it? I would, yes. Okay. Now, well... Actually, the second part of the video says it all, really, um, because I'm going to I'm going to put a challenge out there. But you'll see what it is during this little bit of video. It's not very long, five or six minutes. Have a watch. All right, I'm going to wind the wick quite gently. So that's not compressing tight at all. And we'll keep the wick horizontal this time. I want to keep that so it's going to point there. And give me the option to Pull it down.
problem with these things, you just can't find anywhere to drop this wickage to actually allow anything to work where you would think it would want to. Try and really quite desperately to get it down that hole. And it isn't easy. So I'm thinking that it probably just needs I don't know We've got to get that one to wrap in there. I've decided to stop it. I've decided to stop the video and I'll tell you for why. Because I spent another six minutes clarting about and farting about with that thing. And I've ended up rigging it up as an ordinary dripping atty. I cannot for the life of me figure out how you're supposed to lace it to work as a tank. But I'll show you something. I filled it before the show. And you might be able to go to closey up you can for David. So we'll go to closey up you can for David. And you will hopefully be able to see it's just dumped the yeah. lot straight down into the well. And that's with the grub screw screwed up as tight as it'll go. It, 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 I've set it up as a dripping atty, I'm using it as an overflow. Now, the challenge I set in the video is very simple. I make no claim whatever to be a dripper, much like yourself. And all the ageist jokes that are going on in chat, forget it. Jeff Bennion's just said, Dave just dumped his load live. That's exactly what happened. I dumped <laughs> me load live. <coughs> uh, that, that was a mill of juice that was in the bottom of that thing that's dropped straight out over a period of about an hour and a half since I, I filled it before the show because I like to make sure everything's filled. So here's the challenge. I'm going to take this to the knees, mate. On the 29th of June, the one that you won't be at, Keith. Yes, I'm away. Yes, yes because you're away. Booksy's holidays when there's a mate on shopping. Anyway, I'm going to take it to the knees, mate, and I would very much like the expert drippers and expert silica wickers out there to come along to the knees, mate, and have a go and see if they can make the damn thing work, because I can't. Now, it seems to me that the theory behind it's brilliant. The theory behind it is great for somebody that doesn't use a lot of juice. Because you get through about a mill a day, don't you? Yes. So that would be ideal for you. If, have a blast of it now, because I've, I've dripped on it. And, and it's, it's cracking flavour. Brilliant vapour. It is, yes. I thought you'd like that. Have another drag. Go on, now that I've got your full screen. Not drying out yet, is it? Yeah, I mean that's that's pleasant. It is. It's yeah. it's it is it is nice when it works, but for the life of me that little tank thing just it doesn't seem to serve a useful purpose because you can't use it as a as a anyway. So all Git's already said he's going to give it a go when he comes up to the knees, mate. So Anybody that comes up with the knees, mate, you'll get your chance. I, I will, <coughs> will say, because I've got to say, that obviously I'll film it. Because if somebody can make it work and make it wick out through those two holes and get it set up so that it works perfect, I need to film that. Because it looks as though I'm not alone and not being able to make it do. How's it compared to the uh, EVOD? Well, I, I, I mean, it, it, it produces more. There's no doubt about that right. at all. Um, yeah, but I mean, how they can send a thing out like that without instructions? If it, is, if, if it had come with the coil and the wick in place the way it was meant to be, mm. with some little note that you fill it up the the, the hole in its bum, then you know you'd, you'd stand half a chance, wouldn't you? 
Yeah, I mean, if somebody like me had ordered one of those, I wouldn't have had a bloody clue. No, no, that's true enough. So, there's the challenge. Knees, mate. If you come along to knees, mate, you can have as long as you need to have a play with it and get it sorted out and make it work, and I'll film it. And in the third half of, the, of tonight's show, I've got another dripping at you that I've had a lot more success with, which we'll, we'll talk about then. But in the meanwhile, the knees, mate. The knees meet. Yes. The knees okay. meet. The knees meet. In case anybody failed to gather, it's called the knees, mate. That would be the North East East Smokers meet up, and it's it's. It... Hello, can you see me, mother? Uh, and Lisa it's... hides the shirt. Absolutely. Oh, <laughs> leave the shirt alone. There's no wrong with the shirt. Sorry. Yes, Radf Radfinks has asked us to put it back a month. It says there in chat. Just drop in on your way to Gretna, man. It's on the Saturday. You don't get married till the Sunday, are you? Or the Friday, or the Monday. Come along, it'll be fun. Have a go on the uh, I Go F, see if you can make it work. It'll be brilliant. Uh, you know, there, there were some comments in there that UD usually make some good stuff, and they do. The AGI, for instance, that I've been using for uh, for quite a while, since the, uh, the, the, the test units came out, for instance, is working really well. And I've got a UDI mod here as well, uh, which matches the AGI very, very nicely. This is the U, U, UDI... Oh, I'll get it. The UDT V8, right? And this is available now, I believe, at cfsx.co.uk. And I know it looks long. That's because it comes complete with a kick tube. Did you know that? I didn't. And it is. It's long. It's gorgeous. I mean, it matches the uh, matches the AJI perfectly, and the two of them together are just lush. <laughs> yeah. Clouds and clouds and clouds and clouds and clouds of vapour. It's brilliant stuff. Do you want to blast? Yes, please. Keep the button on the bottom because I haven't got any of that rope wick yet. Once a good press as well. It's not gonna. It's not gonna fire without. It. You don't want it to. But that's that's kicked with an eighteen six fifty. Good press on the button. There you go. Oh, 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 oh. hey, what? Hey, look at this. You don't let them vapour away, do you? Mm. And now, I'm, I'm here to tell you, Keith, that that is way too big for your shirt pocket. Too heavy. Far too heavy for yes. you. You wouldn't like it. Too heavy. Not in any way, shape or form. So I'm, I'm going to actually look at that in more depth for next week. And I'm also going to have a look at this in more depth for next week. I'll go back to uh, what passes for Davy Cam. You, it, it might look familiar. I like the blue bits. Might look familiar. That might be a gent's name, but this, uh, again, came up from Daz at CFS Eggs, and this has been brilliant. This is the uh, Model 61, uh, the Smock 61, with its its nice blue rings and, and the uh, the bottom. I like the blue rings. The bottom, yeah, and it, it matches perfectly with an RSST. How does that compare in weight? Still too oh, heavy yeah. for your top pocket. Please, 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 
Too heavy for your top pocket. Yeah. Mm. You wouldn't like it, Keith. Because it's bad. Nice touch to it. It is. Uh, if you if you finger it that way, right. I'll neatly choose me words more wisely, I suppose. But it's. Mm hmm. No kick in this. I like that. It's neat. Mm. I like it. I do like it. And I, I'm going to have a, a bit better look at that next week as well. Close you up your shots. There's all kinds of adjustments on both of those that you might not realise are there. So we'll talk about those next week because that'll be absolutely... What? Now they're saying me drip tip clashes with me shirt. I never thought of that. If I had somewhere to clip the mic, I would take the shirt off. <coughs> oh, I wouldn't do that. I, well, well yeah. I don't know whether the mic will clip on me glasses. Hang on. I'll try anything once. Can you hear me, mother? Oh, you can. So I can stick the mic on me glasses, and then I could take the shirt. Oh, don't go there. I could take the shirt completely off. I think, I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm thinking that's probably uh, the very, very oh best thing God. that I can probably do, you know? It's all... Uh, And we're back in the end, the shirt's on, it's all right, you're safe, you're safe. I wouldn't do that to you. As somebody typed in chat, think of the children. I'm thinking of the children. It's it a good, good job it was after the, the sort of nine o'clock. Is it nine o'clock? The nine o'clock watershed. Yes. I'm thinking, yeah. what I'll actually do is I'll get some photographs taken of me topless so that people can put them in, in pride of place above the fire. It'll stop the kids from burning themselves because they'll run like hell. Absolutely obscene. Yeah. There's no need to go right, that far. Yeah. I, I would okay. never have gone that far. Of course not. Shall we? Uh, shall we have a look at something else? <laughs> shall we do that? Oh, yes. Uh, the <laughs> same. <laughs> Gillis thought you would be wearing this shirt when we came back. Oh. Right. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. What? It's a thought. <laughs> well, at least you've got long trousers on. Yes. <laughs> Legs out. <laughs> summer absolutely it's summer you've got to have the legs out when it's summer it's gorgeous well this uh, is sort of moving way off theme isn't it really <laughs> <laughs> just a bit this is a drip natty right but it's a drip natty with a difference and i again i've been filming so i think i'll play the film in otherwise we'll run out of time to do it um this one's called a cyclone with an e not a cyclone without an e and it comes from uh, our good friend down at esigs.co.uk. Um, Cameron, well, you'll see. This is Dave in the search. 
for a drip and he can use. And this is called a cyclone. And it comes from a car down at E-Sigs. Uh, used to be the, uh, the GG guy, not anymore. Right, now, it's standard construction. Let's take the top off. Mm. And you, you'll be able to see quite easily. Standard two posts, grub screw job, matey coil. This is one I made earlier. Um, relatively simple to do. You will be able to note, he said, hoping that you can see. There's the two little eye holes, push your wires through, grub screws go down. Jobs are good. And relatively simple to do. Nothing particularly major. So let's stick the top back on. And as you do, and you will see it's quite a large air hole there. That would be 1.2, 1.5 mil. Um, and as it stands, it's what you would expect of a dripping at. It obviously takes 510. This is uh, one of the long drip tips also from Cam. So put it together and uh, give it a blast to see what it looks like. So I've screwed the cyclone onto a TS telescopic storm with uh, the Zobas on the top and it's set to 8 watts. I've dripped it, let's give it a chuck. And that is working very nicely, thank you. And you can drip a fair amount into this, I have discovered. And I will do just that. I'll have to change the juice though. One, two, three, four, five, six. In you go. Air hole kept at the top where it should be. Fridges just started up, it's hot outside. Now that's cool, that works quite nicely. But suppose, for instance, you didn't like the draw on that. There's an upgrade called the Cyclops. And let me show you what that's about. So this is the Cyclops. Now you will see that there's quite a a slot there and what you won't notice straight away in fact there's two slots covered in juice my fingers are covered in juice so one two slots as you'll be able to see and how it works is as follows I take to the tip off and bring the thing into shot let's Put it in place and okay what i'm showing you there is the two slots wide open a little bit of juice has come through which is not going to make life easy but never mind but by holding onto the barrel and turning the top section and i do need something to grip with here as you'll be able to see That little hole, the little slot, gets gradually smaller as you turn that round. So you can set your airflow to wherever you want it. And because there's two holes, two slots, the adjustment is an awful lot better. So I've got two air holes in there now. And uh, We'll see how it goes. Let's go back to Davy Cam and take it on from there. So, job's a good one. I've got my air holes in place at the top. Tad airy. So all I need to do is just 
tighten the hole at the touch. And that's bang on for me. There's a, a depression on the base that everything screws into, where you put your wick and what have you, that allows you to have quite a little flood of juice in there. I have to say that the original cyclone top, the hole in that, once I've got it cleaned out, works quite well for me. But only quite well. It's not as uh, adjustable as with the add-on. And I find the Cyclops add-on just gives me that little bit more control. I've got this set perfectly for me now. And I do quite like the way that's working. And I'm getting a bit of a nick rush. Again, I'll have this at the knees meet. I think I've probably put way too much juice on it. Not being a dripper. Wow! The flavour floods out, mine, I've got to say, but not, not being a dripper, I really don't have much of an idea what I'm doing with this. Again, I'll have it at the knees, mate. Come along, have a play. Um, tell me how to go on. I can, I can handle Genesis atomizers all day long, but when it comes to something that's as simple as a dripper, I'm really not that good. Oh well. <clears throat> and we're back live, and I'm using it. I'm using it now. And just to answer some questions that were coming from there, um, the adjustment is, I would say, almost infinite. Um, you can go to tighter than cat would like, as in it's not letting anything through at all. Really, 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 really tight. Right the way through to a lung inhale is no bother at all because the holes are roughly the size of your nostrils by the time you've got both slots open. Very boring did say that the slots don't look to be opposite each other, so perhaps you can turn it far enough to only have one open. You can, very easily. There's also a setting with a single hole, a little one mil hole. So you've got every variation that you can want from an effortless, and I mean effortless lung inhale, like you're just breathing in till you cough your guts up, right the way down to where you want it. Any strength of drag you want with the Cyclops add-on, you can get. Now, the Cyclone itself is around about the £40 mark and the Cyclops, the add-on, the second bit that I showed you, is £29. To my mind, it's definitely worth the £29 for the Cyclops. And I'm, I'm, as I said in the video, I'm not an expert dripper. I never know when to put more on. I, I'm not good with that. That's why I didn't do a lot of dripping. Yes. Back in the day when everybody was, I was I've never been that good at it. I flood it all the time. There's juice gets everywhere. I'm really crap at it, which is why I want people at the knees meet to show me how to go on. I need to know. I can do the Genesis till it comes out my head. Yeah, that very. Uh, I mean, that setting it was on was just completely effortless. Well, yes, I'm, I'm. I've set it back to there now. Um, I'll, I'll see if I can set it to completely open, and I'll show you how effortless it can be. Um, I am a klutz. There you go. It is now completely open. In fact, if even if I go to my close you'll be calm um, <clears throat> and push it. I don't know whether you'll be able to see. You can see that slot is wide open, right? Both of them are. 
have a draft with that and see how easy that is, Keith. It's it's so simple. It's uh, it's unbelievable. It's effortless. There's no there's no resistance there at all, no, is there? None at all. You can actually breathe in through that tube. Just br just breathe. And it, it completely just, effortless. There's no effort at all. It's it's ridiculous mm. how wide open that goes. But it's by the same time, when you look at the, uh, I mean, yeah, the you've... aperture on. Pardon? Sorry, the hole. The hole. Well, yes. I'll tell you what. Tell you what. Tell you what. Let's 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 try something. If you shove it over there where that white stuff is, and and tip it up a bit. If you have a look on the on the on the monitor, you'll be able to see what we're doing. That's your fingers. Right. Right. So if you tip it up a touch, there you go. And you'll be able to show the hole wide open. If you can get it in shot, it needs to go a little bit further to your right. That's it. And then down a touch. Are you managing? Let's go to it. There it is. That's what it looks like. So I'll, I'll, I'll see if I can do a little little hands that do dishes thing. So if we, if we show it there, you can oh, see how right, wide yeah. open that slot is. It's miles, miles wide. And there are two of the slots. So it goes from there to almost completely closed, which, you know, when you think about it, it's a long way to be able to go. Um, lots and lots of airflow. Mm. Now, as I say, when it, when it comes to being a dripper, I'm about as much use as a chocolate fire guard. Seriously, I am. I'm not good at it at all, and I do need lessons. So if you come along the knees, mate, lessons, please. That would be brilliant. Why are they asking, are you a photographer? True. Is Keith a photographer? No. I, no. I don't know why they're asking. Why are you asking is Keith a photographer? I, I don't know. Probably they're being sarcastic the way I was getting Maybe. me I don't know. right. I <clears throat> don't know. Now, Castello is also asking about a link for the Italian e-cig band business. We're going to be covering that probably on Sunday uh, with Dave Kitson. Um, there's going to be all kinds of stuff going on. The, um, the brown sticky stuff has hit the, uh, the rotational air mover in a big way. All over Europe, there's all kinds of stuff going on. MHRA announcements coming out, France banning the use of them in public places, Italy now going for a ban. We know why Italy's doing that. It's all about the money. But we'll be looking at that during the course of, uh, of other show. All right, apertures, because you used the word aperture. Ap apertures, oh, that's oh. what Finks has just said. <laughs> Because he was asking about apertures. Aper right. Apertures. Yeah, it's, apertures. It's, what F stop can you get yeah. the slots to? Ap yes, apertures. Yes, well, I like it at F18. Uh, Cat would like it at F22. Organist airflow and apertures. Organist airflow and apertures. And that's oh. come from, that's Jeff Benyon being serious. He might be an organist. Uh, he might be something to do with organs, definitely, Jeff, without a shadow of a doubt. He definitely is. Um, Swifty McTavish is saying that's a massive bottle. It's um, what size is it? It's 150 mil. This bottle. Um, where did I get it? Uh, I had it lying around. It actually came from Tasty Vapor about four years ago. Um, Cassandra sent it to me from Ireland, and um, yes, it is very handy. I fill that uh, once a week. <laughs> <coughs> there's usually a little bit left in the bottom when I decant into it right but I go Let's through go. go through a fair amount go through a fair amount it's all good stuff uh, yes it, it, it's, it's between 100 and 150 uh, Leanna Laws has just asked she thinks it's about 100 now nah, I think it's probably 150 125 to 150 there or thereabouts it's handy just to have it keeps you going a week winter rug a week yes I get through a lot of juice an awful lot of juice as as you know anybody that knows me well will know i get through a hell of a lot of juice because i I'm, i never put it down really yes i can't read that out whip it up 69 well i can but i'm not gonna shocking isn't it and the time has come for us to go and so yeah, we say farewell away. is it time chris it is indeed. It's indeed it's time. It's been a great pleasure uh, to have shared the last hour with all of you and with Keith. Daz, we hope your car gets well soon. Yes. 
I'm not going to send it flowers or anything like that. Um, it's been great to spend the last hour with you. I hope you have a wonderful time till Sunday when Dave Kitson's back. Don't forget to tune in at 9 o'clock. And again on Monday for Tin Your Tip. I think there's something special happening on then on uh, on Monday with Tin Your Tip. On Tuesday, Mark will be back. Then Wednesday, it's back to VT Talk. And Lord only knows what will be happening. Because it depends what's happening in the rest of the world of ASIG. So until we see you again, from Keith and myself. Good night. Bye bye. Bye. bye.